When it comes to age pension and your family home, we generally assume that family home is an exempt asset for the purpose of calculation age pension entitlement. I have already created many videos that explain assessment of age pension under income and asset test. If you are not familiar with Centrelink rules around your assets for the purpose of calculating age pension payments to you, watch those two videos, The Truth About Asset Test and Age Pension Income Test Madness. And as I said before, we assume that our family home is just about the only asset that Centrelink does not include within assets test. But you better be prepared for some situations where this is not the case. And today I will give you some examples where your home might be included in asset test. Therefore, you need to be well prepared for this eventuality and, as I always say, plan in advance to be well prepared for any possible changes and don't let a reduction or a loss of age pension take you by surprise. My name is Catherine Isbrand from About Retirement. I'm Certified Financial Planner and you are watching About Retirement TV, the place to watch and follow if you are preparing for your retirement in a few years' time or if you have already retired and you wish to improve your income, assets or government entitlements for the remainder of your retirement. And today we are talking about your family home and situations where your home may not necessarily be exempt from asset test for age pension calculations. But first, let's answer this question. Who is a homeowner? Centrelink explains this as you can be regarded as a homeowner if you own or are paying off your home or have a right to or interest in your home and that right or interest gives you a reasonable security of tenancy. So what is considered a home? In most cases this is a house or a unit but it could be a caravan or a boat if this is what you use for your main place of residence. Please keep in mind that granny flats and retirement villages are under different rules so we are not discussing those arrangements today. What is included in your home value? Items that are included as part of your home value are the actual home itself. So as described before, house, unit, boat, caravan. All permanent fixtures such as stoves, dishwashers, carpets, built-in heaters, light fittings. Land around the home up to two hectares of private land that is on one title. It actually could be all land, even if it is greater than two hectares, if certain conditions are met. But if not, the excess land is counted as an asset. Any fixtures on the land, such as garage, shed, tennis court, swimming pools, that is used for private purpose only, and on the same title that your home. Is your family home an asset for calculating age pension entitlement? Well, in most cases, your home is not counted as an asset, but it impacts the way your age pension is being calculated under asset test. As a homeowner, your asset allowance is significantly reduced. For example, as a single homeowner, you get full age pension if your assets are below $270,500 while a non-homeowner can have up to 487000 and still receive full age pension. For a couple homeowners, the limit is 405000 and non-homeowners, 621500 So as you can see, the asset allowance is much greater if you are a non-homeowner. Exactly the same logic applies to the asset values at age pension cutoff points. 
uh, as you can see, the asset allowance is so much greater for non-homeowners than it is for homeowners. So to put it into context, uh, as a single homeowner pensioner with assets of, let's say, half a million dollars, will receive $299.10 per fortnight of age pension, while a non-homeowner will get $881.87 per fortnight. I'm really encouraging you to watch this video, Should I Rent or Own My Home in Retirement? I think you might find it quite an eye-opener. So yes, home in most cases is excluded from asset test, but the fact if you own home or not will impact on the level of age pension payment dramatically. Is home counted under asset test if you are away? I get this question very often. I have a family overseas. I want to visit them for a prolonged period of time. What will happen to my age pension if I'm overseas for a long time? Well, if you leave home but with a clear intention to return to live in it, then it is not counted under asset test for a period of 12 months. But after that time, the value of your home may be included in calculations of age pension entitlement and the asset test. There are similar rules in situations where your home was damaged or destroyed. The lost or damaged home is not counted as an asset for a period of up to 12 months, or it could be even longer subject to meeting specific conditions. And if you are forced to rent while rebuilding your home, you could be eligible for rental assistance. I had this very strange question once. Considering that home is an exempt asset and the asset test, what happens if I give it away to my children? Well, for once, I don't understand why anyone would do such a thing. What would be the purpose or a benefit? I cannot think of any reason to do so. But going back to the question, the fact that the home is exempt does not mean that Centrelink will accept your giving such an asset away. It will most certainly be treated as assets deprivation and age pension will be reduced or lost altogether. So I would discourage anyone to try to give the family home away, not only a terrible age pension outcome, but you are giving away the asset that could be just about the only asset available to you should you require age care facility assistance. What if you rent part of your home? Renting part of your home can be complex and can vary in different situations. So before you jump into organizing your home to earn this extra income, make sure you get the full advice as your age pension might be affected greatly. In many cases, Centrelink will not only ask you about the rental income paid and then adjust your age pension accordingly on the income test, but it can also include the rented part of your home as an asset on a proportional basis. Therefore, if you have a separate room with a bathroom and a small kitchen for rent that occupies 30% of a total size of your home and your family home is valued at $1 million, that Centrelink will add $300,000 as your accessible asset being 30% of $1 million. What happens when you need to enter care? If you leave your home because you are entering an HK situation, your home may continue to be regarded as your principal home for a period of up to two years, and for that period it is not counted as an asset. Your home also remains exempt if your partner is living in a principal home. When your partner leaves the home to enter care, or if he or she passes away, the two-year exemption period will start from that day that your partner leaves home. If your former home is sold during the two-year exemption period after entering care, 
your principal home exemption ceases and you will be considered a non-home owner. This applies even if you buy another property with sell proceeds. What happens when you care for another person? If you are absent from your home because you are personally providing care for another person, your home continues to be regarded as your principal home for up to two years and is not counted as an asset. What happens when you sell your home? If you sell your home, you need to advise Centrelink what your intentions are and what you want to do with the money from the sale of your home. If you intend to buy a new home, then the funds to purchase a new home will be exempt from asset test for a period of 12 months. However, money will be counted as deemed income and included in income test assessment. If you don't intend to buy a new home, then the total balance from the sale of your home will be treated like any other financial asset included in income test and in your asset test and you will become a non-home owner. This is most certainly not an exhaustive list of possibilities but whatever your plans are please get advice before starting making such big changes in your life as once it is done it cannot be undone and impact on your age pension can be significant and for a quite prolonged period of time. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel not to miss my next video. And for more information about retirement, please visit my website about retirement.com.au. And while you are there, don't forget to sign up to my newsletter to be kept up to date with all the changes that can impact your retirement. And now, as always, my recommendations for further videos to watch. The first previously mentioned, should I rent or own my home in retirement? This video might really surprise you. The second recommendation is the full list of all age pension related videos, starting from the most popular, nine ways to hide money from Centrelink. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.